hello viewers we are uh, seeing the tutorials how to create the restful services so uh, just now i show you in a previous session how to get uh, all patients and a single uh, patient by using the operation contact by invoking a web method okay fine i just want to create uh, two more operation contract to insert and update so how to do that one i just uh, going to write uh, my snip of code here <clears throat> okay a simple i'll tell you that add patient so here uh, we are not going to pass any query string kind of thing uh, we are uh, going to pass a entity a model patient so it it will be a more secure by using a post operation so i will explain it uh, in a bit time i just to mention this is a operation contract and then i going to uh, tell this method as a web invoke method yeah web invoke is actually used to invoke or insert the uh, data uh, or uh, if you want to uh, post something or put the data or delete we have to use the web invoke method if you want to uh, get the data uh, you have to use a web get method here i going to set uh, my uri template uri template is equal to patient i'm telling patient slash add mm -hmm and then a patient slash add and uh, i am telling you are a template and uh, uh, a method i want to set a method post okay fine so uh, now uh, we are uh, declare our operation contract uh, web invoke with my ur template patient dot add if i invoke this method uh, with the post operation the data will get uh, inserted so same thing for update also i going to do mm, i think uh, the same uh, concept that we had do it uh, okay update i use a boolean operation so it's a bit easy to explain you update patient the same parameter that uh, i going to pass so anyways what are the what are we declaring as a parameter okay fine uh, it's also commanded the web invoke and my uh, uri template patient slash update and uh, method is put method ah uh, yep finally this done now uh, so let me uh, go to the service and again i'm going to uh, implement my two more methods over here I just remove the default exception code and here uh, I just uh, take a using that DB uh, we have already uh, the entity model a uh, patient dot information so I'm taking so uh, please go through my previous session I explained you clearly what I am doing now so I just creating the method I'm just doing some little bit operation to make everything be clear I just written patients dot add patient uh, just I'm going to return uh, 
okay it's in DJ type so I don't want to Okay, uh, and finally, I'm uh, going to return my patient dot ID. Yeah. So uh, my ad operation is ready. Same thing. I'm going to declare my db instance equal to new patient information yeah here yeah. I take the instance of a single record so just patient equal to uh, db dot patients dot a uh, single uh, default value p instance p dot id equal to patients dot id now we got a filter out value here then uh, we have to do our updation operation by um, uh, suppose we want to update name take my patients dot name and dot of a data birth from the service uh, data birth we are adding dot any other place is there so the same thing I'll just be yeah it's done now Finally, uh, we are saving our DB context. Okay, we are uh, telling to save our record instance. And finally, I'm going to return true. Okay, fine. Now our add and update method is ready now. So, uh, these are the four major option operation that we are uh, using in our um, day-to-day -day, uh, development side life cycle so once we get to know how to call all this method and how to do this operation uh, in a client side you will cover major things in a, a WCF or SQL services so uh, next video please watch the next video uh, to work on the client side how to call that uh, RESTful services and how to consume the URL and how to add by just passing the entity model so it is very interesting topics that I am going to cover in a future session please go through the videos thanks